Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's a very important part of the data analyst. You have to figure out uh, where to get the data from. What is the, there are millions of, uh, hundreds of, not hundreds of millions of. So according to you, since you are a data analyst, what are some of the most important skills which you use in day-to-day -day life for to someone to become a data analyst or for data analysts? Uh, I would say SQL 100%. I use that every day, all day. Uh, Power BI, any kind of data visualization tools. So Power BI, Tableau, depends on what organization you're going for. Uh, they use different tools, but Power BI, Tableau, Looker are uh, popular data visualization tools. They are, um, so it's good to have either certification, it, some, you get, you'll uh, get a basic certification for free for both Power BI and Tableau. So those are the important tools. Um, Excel, uh, if you are not working in a data heavy team, as in the data scientist team, then usually data and this data analysts were ended up working with the business team a lot. So for internal reporting purpose, uh, you ended up using Excel a lot. So uh, to start with SQL, uh, Excel, and the data visualization tools, and then Python, uh, analytics, uh, statistics, those are useful skill sets to my okay. point. Okay, cool. Awesome. What does a day-to-day -day look like for a data analyst? Like from morning to evening, what do they do uh, when they start their day? Uh, I would say it depends. Uh, uh, um, sometimes, but usually you would be, um, as I said, working a lot on SQL, uh, looking into data, uh, and providing insight for your, for the questions or requests that come across from a uh, business. So, uh, Give what might Give us an example. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for, for example, my day to day is I, I log in to work, I check my emails and then I would have a list of requirements or the QBR or weekly reports that I have to uh, provide it to do my business. So then I'll go into Snowflakes, write some SQL code, you know, and then uh, build some metrics and reports and or data visualization. The important part, the second most important part is to have uh, meetings with the business. So I have a lot of meetings with my uh, business team, trying to understand what are their goals? What is it, what, are, what are goals for our team? What is a Q, Q, uh, quarterly goals or monthly goals? What are the, uh, and then uh, provide the data or metrics according to the goals to see what are, whatever the efforts we are putting into the business side or product or it depends what team you are working. But uh, it is coming along from the data point of view and and sometimes you also make a decision based on what to, you as a person I need to help them to understand the data whatever I'm putting in the report I'll walk through them in the meeting. This is what this is telling me. Okay and. Do you get the data uh, or do you have to fetch the data from the database and then massage the data to create the report? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's a very important part of the data analyst. You have to figure out uh, where to get the data from. What is the, there are millions of, uh, hundreds of, not hundreds of millions of, hundreds of data tables. You need to figure out which one's the right data source for what particular data information you're looking for that's all comes under data analyst uh head you have to go to the data analyst so data analyst work as a bridge between data engineering data science team and a business team mm -hmm. so you are yeah. responsible to find out the right source of the data massage the data um, you need to think through it as in if i have this data how would i present this data to make a sense out of it or to help my business make a decision out of it. So yeah, you have to go into the data, massage the data. Right. And visualization comes in place where I'm saying like, Hey, you know, yours, you, let's say if I have a website where it's, I'm selling something and I want data analysts to tell me what is the current buying trend. So can you tell me from based on like last seven days uh, and that's, that's me as a business giving you the requirement. And then you are like, okay, you will ask more specific questions because you want to understand. And then you go to the data and then fetch the data and then create a visualization for me to help me understand how the audience is using it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Data visualization is one of the important skill set as in 
uh, you know, you have, let's say your YouTube videos, right? You have 10 different categories you put your YouTube videos on. And then mm -hmm. I can give you a pie chart versus bar chart. Uh, okay, this is the, hey, Yudi, this is the pie chart of uh, you, how your video categories are doing across the different, or how your videos are doing across different categories. You would have a tiny, tiny, I don't know, tiny uh, bar per um, category, and you probably won't make much sense, whatnot. But if I give you the bar chart, nice bar chart, and then I'll add some tool tips, as in this is the breakdown of what exactly uh, from, I don't know, more data points within that visualization. So then that would tell more story or that would help to give you more context. So it's it's super important skill set because all you do is get the data and tell a story to business. Yes. So yes. The, the story, the way to tell a story is through data visualization. Yeah. Okay. Um, was there any myth for you? Like, okay, you heard these things as like, oh, this is what data analysts do. But then when you actually become a data analyst and work as a full-time, was there any difference you found like, oh, that's not really what they are saying? Yeah. Uh, as I said, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult to answer because uh, I'm, my background is software engineer. I'm a software engineer. So mm -hmm. I never had expectation, but I've worked on data science project and that's how I got interested. So there are a few things that I learned that I wasn't aware of uh, that I, sh I would be doing as a data analyst is, I thought the data is always clean or ready oh, to use and build yeah. a report. Uh, but then <laughs> I, yeah, I wasn't, <laughs> I was completely off there. Uh, you <laughs> have to talk to so many different people, figure out what is the right source. You can have a same, you can have a few different tables providing the same details, but mm -hmm. you have to learn the depth of what kind of data uh, that table is providing. And uh, so I wasn't I wasn't aware about this. I thought the data is already there. You just grab the data, build the report, um, and and probably serve as a da dashboarding whatnot. Um, so that is one thing that that's a very that's a key key job role uh, as a data analyst. Uh, yeah. And then uh, uh, second myth would be uh, sometimes people assume that it's very tech heavy job or uh, or, or uh, you'll be doing a lot of coding, whatnot. Uh, and that's what I thought. I, assu I assume that, but uh, it's not, it, it's nice balance between tech and a business. So if you are a person who were interested in sort of having a balance between both, it's definitely a, a good job, uh, a, a great way to start from data analytics. Right. So you don't have to have this like, you know, super complex algorithm knowledge and um, data science knowledge and AI knowledge or machine learning knowledge. Right? No. Uh, I mean, having it is is definitely mm -hmm. an add-on, but you don't, it's not required for you to become one. Right. That's what I was going to say. You don't have to have it. Um, it's very good to have it. You mm. can provide additional insight to your business. You don't have to know the algorithms and the machine learning and AI. Can someone who doesn't have uh, any work ex prior work experience as data analyst can become a data analyst? Definitely. Or uh, actually can get a job as data analyst? Definitely. Um, as I said, uh, I studied software engineering mm -hmm. uh, and I started as a data analyst. I had no background. Um, all I did was a project uh, in the data science. So that's how I started. But um, either you are a business uh, you are working in a business and want to transition over data analytics, or or you are technical people and want to transition over data analytics. As I said, it's a nice balance between both, so you can carry those characteristics from both kind of domain and uh, probably learn SQL uh, if you're from business and uh, all those required skill sets and put it in a resume in a nice way that probably would tell a story. And if you're a beginner uh, or just out of the college. Um, uh, yeah, you can uh, probably do some simple, I don't know, projects and how, um, how the skill sets, you can do lead code for SQL programming and stuff. And then, uh, as I said, the Power BI and the Tableau certification, basic certifications are free. So you can have that in your resume and get started. That's, about, that's how I started. Right. Okay. Um, did you have work experience? Uh, yeah, I've been working for two, three, couple of years now. No, no. I mean, did you have work experience when you started uh, your first job? 
I did not had a work experience as a data analyst. Okay. Okay. All I had was uh, my skill sets uh, and and the data science project I did during my master degree. Okay. Okay. Cool. What is the most common? I'm guessing you given multiple interviews for data analysts. What is the most common interview question, or what are some of the most common interview questions for data analysts? Oh, that's a good one. Um, definitely SQL questions. You're gonna get uh, get asked the SQL query to write. You're gonna get. They're gonna give you the scenarios to write the SQL query. So definitely an that example, one. like give an, an example. Yeah, for example, they'll give you. Um, let's say Amazon, they'll give you table A for the customer that are buying products and table B for, uh, so there'll be customer data and table B would be for the cells that is related to those products, you know, and then they'll ask, and then the table C would be for product data. And then they'll ask you to write a query to find out, uh, uh, find out, uh, which customer bought the product A the most. To write mm. a query, to write a query for that, or it's simple. They can start it from the join. So joins, uh, left yeah. join, right join are the basic, uh, basic SQL stuff, and then they can go to the Windows function, which is okay. Give us a running total, or give us a sum by this, give us a sum by product, give us, give us a, a difference by I don't know uh, the top top selling product mm. out of all these products. So then they, then it it gets the window, it, it gets some advanced level SQL. But again, uh, for data analytics, I think that's all you need to know. SQL is also about uh, writing a super, doing a data engineering job. But yeah, that's, like insert that, queries, yeah. Yeah, but I don't I haven't seen that being asked in the interviews for data yeah. analytics. Okay, so SQL is one part. What, what are some other uh, interview questions, common interview questions? Uh, uh, so they would depends if the role is also, um, I have done one, one, uh, during one project, I, uh, the, my role was uh, as a power BI developer. So if the, if the role is heavy on reporting side, all you're doing is migrate report migration or whatnot, then, uh, they would ask you question related to particular software that they're using either power or tool they're using power BI or Tableau mm -hmm. and then data visualization techniques as in. Mm -hmm what chart you use, for example, pie chart versus bar chart, the, just the example I gave you previously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so those could be the questions. And then one an, another uh, interesting thing I found is, is uh, as I said, it's you have to work a lot with business. Mm -hmm. So they will ask if they're looking for a domain experience people, they'll ask you some of the questions related domain or just in general, how good you are working with across different teams yeah. yes yeah like conflict like communication basically questions uh, yeah, yeah questions. they want to make sure that you can go to people and ask the right question mm. in order to yeah. provide the details or to tell the stories you need right. to know the question right okay so what's the typical salary range for data analysts uh honestly i've seen that varies a lot um depends i, I would say between between 80k to 120k if you're just uh, annually if you're just starting uh, as a beginner but um, you can add your skill sets as a data uh, scientist or uh, you know around days there's a data product manager or AI product manager and in the senior roles and then mm -hmm. they can it's a good range that you can go from that but yeah. initially again, when it you also begin, depends on the area as well like if Eighty thousand in uh, some small town could be, you know, hundred and forty thousand in Bay Area. So Bay Area, yeah, it depends. Uh, it depends for sure, hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think the future of uh, data analysis is? Is the field still gonna stay around, or do you think it's gonna? It's just right now the hype and it's gonna go. No, uh, I think uh, this field's going to be here for a long term because. Um, all the industry and organization wants to do data, wants to now drive data driven solutions or the decisions. Um, all the small organizations, startups, they're looking for specifically people who, who are uh, knowledgeable in data and do the business, you know. So this field is, is definitely going to be 
I don't know, I can see at least five, 10 years data analytics here, it's helping people a lot. And there is not all the organization or teams within the organization can have a, have a leverage or can have a, can leverage the data scientists or AI technologies. So right now, all those small teams, they're driving the decisions through the data analytics. Um, so it's gonna be here, it's gonna be, uh, the data analytics gonna be here for a while. Um, and then from like within the field, I feel like it's gonna get advanced. Um, when, when I say that, I meant um, if I'm giving you a report, like, hey, Yudi, I work for data, for you as a data analyst. There is this weekly report that you need for your YouTube videos, how they're performing. You don't wanna be rely on me. You want something that is automated, hmm. that you can self, you can check it whenever you want. It's live data, it's live metrics. Yeah. So it's going to get advanced in a way that the thing's going to get automated. Reporting's going to get, it's already getting automated through Power BI and Tableau. Right. But um, this administrative work is in data cleaning, whatnot's going to get automated. But also yeah. then, I, then I question myself because data is getting so much complex and everyone wants to grab all the data that they can, all the organizations. <laughs> so I'm like, there has to be someone cleaning that data. Yeah. But yeah. that also means that they're going to probably... IT is going to probably uh, develop some advanced tools that they can uh, take over the manual work. At, yeah. At as, yeah. So that's where mm -hmm. I see future of data analytics. Nice. Okay. Final question. Uh, if there are new people who, or uh, what is your advice for the people who wants to get into data analysts or they are like, you know, wanting to start getting into data analysts, like what should they do? if they're like into the job market or trying to get into the job market one in this field? Uh, I would say just start applying, uh, rewrite your resume according uh, to data analytic that you focus data analytical skill sets. That's what I did. Uh, I learned advanced Java in my master degree, but that's not what I wanted to highlight, you know? <laughs> so um, just maybe rewrite your resume according to data analytical uh, analytics, have more numbers in your resume and then uh, add all the certification. And then once you are there, you just keep, uh, you just keep applying for the jobs. And as you, this is my personal experience. I didn't know what, what data analytic would look like. And I, I didn't know until I started interviewing and then then I got to learn from the companies or the organization point of view okay this is what they would look for mm -hmm. uh, as a data analytics and then so start applying start applying uh, going for the interviews and also what helped me was again how we did the Q&A I used to go to my friends who are actually working in the industry as a data analyst and I used to ask about their projects like what do you guys do what is your day-to-day -day job uh, how much, okay, you do SQL, I'm doing this lead code, but is this kind of SQL you do, you know, to start maybe, I don't know, asking people questions. And on that, um, I work, I don't know if I want to promote this, but yeah, that's, that's what I say that. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. Yeah.